What is up, everybody? I am Ken with the Mid-Level Media Channel, and I have heard that Dollar Tree has got their dollar Blu-rays and DVDs back in stock. So I'm going to hit up a couple of Dollar Trees here today, and I'm going to see what I can find. Hopefully, I can find some new additions for the Dollar Tree bin that I have at home for my Dollar Tree Diary series, maybe a sequel uh, to Bride of Scarecrow, maybe. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm actually outside of a Dollar Tree that usually has a pretty good stock um, when there's new Blu-rays and DVDs, so hopefully I will find some cool finds in here today, but let's go ahead and get in there. Alright guys, so I just got out of the first Dollar Tree and uh, I kind of went a little bit crazy. They actually had a lot of good stuff in there. Um, I got 19 titles total. So yeah, I got two bags worth of physical media in the Dollar Tree and I could not be any more excited uh, to show you all what I picked up. So starting with the DVDs, I got nine DVDs and 10 Blu-rays. So Let's go ahead and show these off to you guys. I got Boar, which I haven't really heard of this movie, but it's a Shudder exclusive, and I don't think um, I have this at home. But again, it's one of those that I could be wrong, and I could have this uh, in the bin that I have at home. But yeah, this looks like a prime viewing film for the Dollar Tree Diary. So I went ahead and grabbed this movie, Boar, and hopefully... It's good. So um, I got Boar. Another one that I got is another Shutter Original RLJE DVD, and that is Gwen. So I feel like I heard good things about this one. I think it came out yes uh, last year. It, it definitely has some like witch vibes to it. Just by the cover, I'm getting that vibe. So um, I'm excited to check this one out at some point as well. And hopefully that one's a legitimately good horror film. Uh, the next one I got is the Wind Demons of the Prairie. And this is an IFC Midnight Scream Factory collaboration DVD. So I also feel like I heard good things about this one, but I could be wrong. So excited to check this one out. It actually looks pretty cool. I like the cover um, on this one and the images that I saw on the back. So this next one looks extremely dumb and stupid, but it, it was interesting. The cover was interesting. It's got Lynn Shay in it. She's like the horror icon uh, queen at this point since the Insidious franchise. This is called Gothic Harvest. It's also got uh, Bill Mosley in it, who is in like The Devil's Rejects and a lot of Rob Zombie movies. So um, I don't know. It, it could be good. It could be horrible. But either way, it's a Dollar Tree movie diary viewing experience, I'm sure. Um, either way. So this other one that I got um, is called Dead Ants. I feel like I've heard uh, some things about this one, but it, it definitely looks like Eight-Legged Freaks, kind of has that vibe going for it. It's got Tom Arnold in it, so I haven't seen Tom Arnold in a movie since, I don't know, The Stupids. Uh, so I'll, I'll check it. I'll check this one out um, at some point, maybe or maybe not. This other one that I got, this is a really cool set. This is a Midnight Movies set. Um, it's a double pack, and it's two. I don't know if these are horror films, or they look like they're horror films. But it's called uh, What's the Matter with Helen and Whoever Slew Auntie Rod. So it looks like some early like slasher films from the 70s. Uh, one was made in 1971. One was made in 1972. And, uh, you know, one of them's got Debbie Reynolds in it, who I think was the grandma in uh, Halloween Town. If I could be mistaken with that. So, I don't know, a cool set and uh, Midnight Movies from the MGM line. 
it, it looked like a cool pickup to add to the collection, so I got it. Um, this next one I got uh, actually still has a Walmart sticker on it, and this is called The Space Between Us. Um, actually did not hear good things about this movie when it came out, but I was always kind of curious um, about the film. You know, these two kids that kind of fall in love on a different planet um, that they colonized or something. I think that's the story. I could be wrong, but um, I might check this out at some point. And definitely for a dollar on DVD, why not? I mean, why not at this point? Uh, the Berlin Syndrome, which has... Uh, Teresa Palmer in it, who was in Lights Out, I think. She's been in a couple other movies um, as well. I don't know. This one just looked interesting. Don't really know anything about it, so I went ahead and picked that one up. Um, this next one I watched, like, I think two years ago. Um, and uh, it was actually filmed in my home state of Kentucky. And there is a scene in this movie, it's called The Clofetch Killer, um, that actually has the supermarket that's, like, right down the street from me. They, they filmed in the parking lot, so that's really cool. Um, but this movie is actually also just really good. It's a really solid kind of murder mystery thriller uh, where this kid suspects his father of being this serial killer from 10 years ago um, and how all of that kind of comes to fruition and comes to a head in this film. Uh, some really good performances. You've got uh, Dylan McDermott in this movie, so he's a great actor. This is a good movie, underrated. I think it's streaming on Hulu, so I do recommend uh, checking it out. But yeah, I was happy to add this to the collection. I would probably want it on Blu-ray, but for a buck, I thought I'd just go ahead and pick it up. It is a Scream Factory release as well. But yeah, The Clovich Killer, really underrated. Check that one out um, if you ever get the chance. So let's go ahead and move on to the Blu-rays. And like I said, I got 10 Blu-rays in the stack. Let's go ahead and go through them. Some of them are good, legitimate movies that I was excited to add to the collection. Some of them are definite Dollar Tree Diary uh, movies for sure. That's what I'm going to start calling the ones that we know are just going to suck. They're the Dollar Tree Diary movies. So, all right. So we got The Reader, which is a movie that Kate Winslet, I think was, it says Academy Award winning Kate Winslet, but I don't think she won an award for this movie. I think she was nominated. And I vaguely, vaguely remember watching this movie, but I don't know. It's an Oscar movie and um, it's got Ralph Fiennes and Kate Winslet in it. Why not grab this one? It's a legitimate movie, so that's cool to add to the collection. This one, I feel like I might have it in my collection. I don't think I do, though. This is Bad Teacher. Um, I don't... I feel like I saw this, and I thought it was mildly humorous, so I don't know. A dollar. I went ahead and added it to the collection. It's a legitimate movie, so it's got Cameron Diaz, Justin Timberlake, Jason Segel. It's a good cast, um, and I think it was one of Cameron Diaz's like last movies, if I'm not mistaken, because she's retired, doesn't really do movies anymore, so... Um, I wish she would come back, but, you know, it's it's her choice. This next one I got I've never heard of, but it's got two very notable actors in it. Um, one of them is my favorite actress of all time. That's Julianne Moore, and this is called uh, Bill Canto, and it's also got Ken Watanabe in it, um, who, right off the top of my head, I know from Godzilla 2014, let them fight. Uh, that's the one thing I know. I know he's in other stuff, uh, an acclaimed actor, so... I don't know, it looked like a cool thriller, so I picked this one up. Um, yeah, this next one, I don't know what the hell it is, but it's got Champ from Anchorman in it. Uh, David Kutchner, I think is how you pronounce his name. Uh, but it's in a cool, clear Blu-ray case. It's called Cheap Thrills. And uh, I don't know, it looked like a kind of a fun, just fast-paced, frantic horror, comedy, murder, thriller, action movie. I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, but I might check it out for the Dollar Tree Diaries at some point. Um, the next one I got, I actually got the DVD a couple of months ago at a Dollar Tree. Um, and I'm happy to upgrade it to Blu-ray for a dollar. So I spent two bucks to get the DVD and the Blu-ray. And that's 22 Jump Street. So now I have both 21 and 22 Jump Street in Blu-ray. So I don't really need those in 4K. I know they have 4Ks out. But unless I see those in a Dollar Tree for a dollar, I'm not going to add them to the collection. So these are th the two really solid comedies. Um, you know, I often bash on new comedies. I just don't think a lot of movies are funny anymore, but these are the two of the good ones, 22 and 21 Jump Street. So happy to have that on Blu-ray now. This next one I got is Hell Ride, uh, which is Quentin Tarantino Presents. So another one that he produced. Um, the cover looks interesting. I don't know how the movie will be, but the cover looks interesting. It kind of has like a little comic booky. Um, it kind of looks like a Sons of Anarchy type movie. I don't know. 
Uh, this one I've heard of and I've seen on Netflix and I probably scrolled past it at least a thousand times. It's called John Dies at the End. So I don't know if this is good. If anybody, if it's like a cult classic and a lot of people talk about it, but haven't really heard much. But yeah, I was uh, excited to grab it for a dollar. I mean, why not? From the director of Phantasm and Bubba Hotep. So that's cool. He uh, directed the first Phantasm, which is a horror franchise I haven't got a chance to check out yet. Um, this one is Officer Down, kind of uh, uh, shades of RoboCop and Deadpool is kind of how they're promoting it, so I don't know. Um, I thought the slipcover was cool. I thought the back looked cool, so I went ahead and grabbed this one, not knowing really anything about it. This next one I grabbed also just had an intriguing cover. It's got Tony Todd in it. It's called Sushi Girl. Um, I feel like I've seen this at Big Lots and I haven't grabbed it because uh, it's probably like three bucks and I'm not going to grab it for three bucks, but I'll grab it for a dollar. Why not? So Sushi Girl, I don't know. I'll check it out maybe. Uh, this last one I was super excited to find because this is really cool find and there's actually two copies um, in there and uh, this is George, this is a George A. Romero film um, and it's one of his later de uh, dead movies. This is Survival of the Dead. So I don't know if anybody's ever seen this, but this is kind of like his found footage version of his dead movies. And uh, I remember liking this one. I remember liking it quite a bit. So, and it's got this cool lenticular slipcover. So yeah, I could not pass this up. Super cool find for the Dollar Tree um, to add a new George A. Romero to the collection. So, all right, guys, that is it. 19 new titles with that Dollar Tree haul for $19. I'm going to try to hit up one more Dollar Tree, and then we will close out the video. Into the next Dollar Tree. We are going. Let's do it. All right, so just got out of that Dollar Tree, and that was a little weird because they didn't have new uh, Blu-rays and DVDs, but they did have an assortment of books. That's their weekly wow this week. So no Blu-rays and DVDs at this Dollar Tree, uh, but they had books. So sure, you got books, Dollar Tree. I took part. All right, so let's talk about some of the books I got in there. And again, I don't really read too much anymore, but you can't beat a hardback book for a dollar. You know, no matter who's writing it, um, it's just cool to get a, a book for a dollar. I don't know. Um, but one thing I got that I thought was pretty interesting uh, to find in there was this adaptation to all the money in the world, uh, the film adaptation book. I'm assuming, or this might have already been a book before the movie, but uh, uh, yeah, that was a cool find in there. I've There was an era where I was collecting a lot of movie adaptation, movie to book adaptations. Um, so I have a lot of those at home in my collection. That might actually make an interesting video uh, one day. So I grabbed all the money in the world for a dollar. Why not? Uh, this next one that I got is called House of Ash. Um, just This just looked like a really cool cover. It's like a horror mystery novel. So I'm sure I'll never read it. But I don't know. Maybe one of my kids one day will read it or something. I, I like to think that that's, that's what will happen. Who knows? This other one that I grabbed... Um, also had a really cool uh, cover and a really cool name. It's called The Sea Beast Takes a Lover. So I have no idea uh, what this means, but apparently it's like a collection of stories. I don't know. So some interesting books to grab at the Dollar Tree today, but uh, um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and head to one more Dollar Tree because I do want to see what other movies and stuff that I could potentially find, and that one didn't have anything. So uh, let's go to one more Dollar Tree, and then we'll wrap up the video. Into the next Dollar Tree. Let's go. Boom, boom. And the weekly wow is Easter candy, according to that. So hopefully they have something in here. Let's do it. More books.
right guys, so I just got out of my third Dollar Tree and that one I was a little bit scared at first because they had the books in the weekly wow so I was like oh no there's gonna be another just books Dollar Tree and then I went over into the aisles and I found the movies in that section they didn't have a great selection but they did have one that I have been looking for for the longest time ever since I saw people uh, grabbing this one um, I think a couple of months ago when the, uh, the, the they had some Dollar Tree new DVDs and Blu-ray so I've been looking for this one for a long time was so glad I finally found it the movies called the eyes of my mother uh, so yes I have been hearing so many great things about this movie since I came out I think in uh, 2017 so it's about uh, four years old but yes I heard so many great things about this movie so I'm definitely excited to check it out and yeah DVD or not I was glad to have this and, and get to uh, own it in my collection so yeah really cool cover on it and slip cover um, it's embossed and everything. So yeah, ex excited to have this. This will probably not be a dollar uh, uh, tree movie diary movie. This is going to be like for me. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to review it. Um, I am legitimately excited to have this one and own it in my collection. Heard so many great things about this movie. So um, I did end up grabbing a couple of uh, novelizations in there as well from movies. So I grabbed this, The Art of Racing in the Rain, or I think this is just called Racing in the Rain. So um, yeah, I grabbed this because it's based on a movie. It's a young adult novel. So maybe one of my kids will read it one day. Who knows? Probably not. So um, the next one that I grabbed is not based on a movie, but it's based on the Netflix original series. And this is called Shadows of the Dark Crystal. So I'm a Dark Crystal fan. I love the old movie from the 80s. I haven't got a chance to check out the Netflix series yet, but um, I was going to at some point. It just never happened. But uh, yeah, this looks like a cool book. Um, again, maybe one of my kids will read it. I probably won't, but it is a cool find for a dollar. So all right, guys, that does it for my Dollar Tree um, DVD Blu-ray book haul. So I grabbed uh, five books, um, 10 DVDs, and 10 Blu-rays in this trip. So overall, that's a pretty good haul, um, all for $25, so not bad at all. So I appreciate everybody watching this, going to all three stores with me. Uh, there was definitely ups and downs. The first Dollar Tree that I went through was the biggest score for sure. But yeah, appreciate everybody watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you picked up uh, from your local Dollar Trees if you went. What of everything that I covered today that I picked up is your favorite? What should I watch first? What is a Dollar Tree movie, diary movie that you want to see first? Let me know all of that in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time.